that's us, boo Came through with that new thing, see, I don't know why I trust you Crazy now, I'm just too on, maybe now I'm just too gone Maybe now I'm just looking for that same vibe that you on Cause I'm out here with my boys, going crazy in this bitch Overseas, getting bent, no Mercedes in this bitch We made the album nine months, had a baby in this bitch I'm with your bae on the run, like I'm Jay-Z in this bitch I don't smoke a lot, but I get green But ball out, no SBs, I caught you out, you got served with that beat stop, no step team what up to his gang? What up to his squad? It's she go money two times up in here. Although it is one twenty five in the morning, so it's past the midnight hour. But welcome to the midnight hour with money two times. Before we get to the top of this episode, make sure if you're on YouTube, um, like this video, subscribe to my channel, um, and ring the bell for future notifications. Channel. Now let's get to it. This episode is called The Chronicles of the Dormitory, uh, The Late Nights, The Chaos, and The Freakiness, and yeah, honestly, like, <laughs> in a nutshell, so, I go to this very Catholic school that I'm not going to reveal names, but... <sighs> I went there for now my three years. I have just currently right now just moved back home. Um, I finished my third my third year, and my goodness, uh, the chaotic part was about it was just like I'm just very happy I passed I passed this year. It was just so fucking stressful. It is beyond me. Like there should be no way, especially as a graphic designer, it's stressful, but that's what i signed up for but it was just like yeah but let's get started with the chronicles of my dormitory so uh my dormitory that i lived in was a co-ed and it was like this house and it's like when you look at this house when you first walk in it's really beautiful until you have to move in tell me how when i first moved in um they put all the women or non-binary individuals with feminine parts. Uh, they put us on the second floor while the men have the first floor. I'm just sitting back here. I'm like, bro, why is why do we have the second floor and the men have the first floor? Like, like, come on. It should have been like... <laughs> We should have had the second floor because, like, not some of us are like, it's just too much to have us like carry luggage around. Especially me, I it was my first year on campus, so I packed a lot. And I know now, like in the future, uh, when I move back in for the next school year, I'm gonna have to like not pack so heavy. But hey, it was my first year, so bite me. <laughs> What else? Um, honestly, like, I moved in early because I was like a leader, so I can like, so I can um, show the freshmen around, like, give them a little tour of my school. You know, luckily I got stuck with like the honors kids, so it really wasn't much, you know, to deal with. <laughs> It was just afterwards, like, let's start with the late nights. Literally, once the semester started, every single late night, I have wound up switching my rooms so many times. Like, the first time, I'm not really going to get into it. That's a podcast episode for another time. Uh, same for the second reason. That is really a podcast episode for another time, and I'm not going to get into that shit. <laughs> but for the, ter- the third time, um, I got placed into this room, and I had two neighbors. They're like adjacent from one another. So I had one neighbor to my to my to my right, and another neighbor across from me. Mind you, these two they all know each other. So it was like every single night they make so much noise. I'm talking like running around as if they own this bitch. I'm like. 
I'm like sitting back here. I can't even sit back here and like watch my TV in peace because all you hear is running down the hallway, them playing around a lot. It's like, I get it. You know, we're all college students. We're all like in our 20s or something like that. But come on, have some common decency. Like some of us sleep. Like some of us need to sleep. And like, bro, half the time I be hearing them fuck. I be hearing them fuck. And I'm just like, ooh. Like, I'm just sitting here laying in my bed. It be like 12, going to like 3 o'clock in the morning. Like, I be waking up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom. And I'm hearing fucking moaning. I'm like, okay. And it's like, somebody get any action? Like, I, here and there, like, I be a little nosy, you know, putting my ear against the wall and just be listening. Cause of the weird, cause of the weirdo I am. Like, yes, if if y'all call me weird, I don't give a fuck. This was again my nosy ass, and plus, like, our walls in that dorm were thin. Like, you can literally hear someone drop a penny. That's how thin those fucking walls are. Like, you can literally hear anything, and. I'm not gonna sure record. There were times when I be getting um intimate in my room and I be playing music, but it's like it's to the point that I got stopped by like, you know, one of my now unexpected friends, but I'm gonna make a podcast also about it. Um, shout out to shout out to Homeboy. He actually like talked to me and mind you, he's like the same major as I am. And he was like saying, Yo, Monty. I be hearing you sometimes. I'm like, define hearing me. Because I'm like, you know, probably like hearing me like on the phone or playing a game. No, he said, I be hearing you. I'm like, oh. Turns out homeboy be hearing me. <laughs> I be feeling so bad because like, you know, this is, like, the freakiness part. Because, like, my thing is, look, when I be doing my my thing, I be trying my damnest to make sure nobody hears me. Because it's, like, a respectful thing. And, unfortunately, since they hurt me, I'm just like, damn, like... How can they sit back here and look at me differently and look at me the same? And y'all just he- be hearing me out of beating somebody dooney down or me getting my doonies beat down. So, and yes, I'm saying this on this podcast because it's like, look, I'm very open of what I do. And I don't, I just live around like talking about this shit like it's just free. And obviously, like, this is going to be not suitable for work. So, um, any kids that's on this podcast that's like listening, I suggest you log the fuck off because, yeah, <laughs> y'all not supposed to be listening to this. Y'all should be in your biz fucking watching Blues Clues or some shit. I don't know what y'all kids watch nowadays with this new television shit because when i was a kid at the moment you see george lopez pop on his tv that means you have to take your ass to bed and that's not even promise take that ass to bed <laughs> but yeah like i be hearing people in my dorm took my dorm hall like fucking like my entire dorm hall was full of freaks like it was full of freaks you be hearing people fuck Every single day. Honestly, I would get into my roommate, my um, my my um, my my pot mates, my neighbors, but that's an episode for another time. They're really nice people, but it's just like living with them. Oh my god! Like, if you listen to this, look, no hard feelings, but this is my story, and like, you probably got some stories about me as well. And look, I'll open, I'll honestly admit, yes, I fucked a lot. And my music was a big giveaway, but hey, you got a show, didn't you? Because I heard about you listening, so I gave you a show, didn't I? <laughs> um, so, later on in the late nights, like when I meant by noise, 
it was just so many noises. Oh my God, there was this kid. Like this kid, he be raging over the stupidest shit. Like, if he's not raging over the Eagles game, this motherfucker is raging over Pokemon Go. Like, I'm not going to reveal his name or anything because, you know, privacy reasons, but it's like, and it's just, the, the weirdest thing, the weirdest thing about this kid, mind you, huge red flag. Why the fuck would you leave your dorm room open with you in there? Like, I don't know if it's just a me thing or it's just like a common courtesy, but who sits back here and leaves their entire room open, like their whole door open for everybody to see what you be doing? Like... I'll be walking past that room, heading to my dorm, and here's this motherfucker. The rooms are open, doors are open. I'm seeing him on this computer. Like I should not be seeing what you do. Like one day I could be walking past you, beating your fucking meat. I'm like, do you want everybody to see your dick, bro? Like that's weird. Like close your door. But I feel bad for anybody that has to live with him next year. Like I had a classmate. I have a classmate. Um, who live that exact, you know, dorm hall from him, like the exact same floor. This was like the guy's floor, so mind you, the guy's floor was the first floor. That poor bastard, I be hearing him, like, just tell, like, complain about this kid. And honestly, I complain about him, like, this kid yells so loud, the entire second floor can hear him. But I gotta feel bad. <coughs> Shit, sorry. I gotta feel bad because apparently he's on the spectrum. I'm not sure. Like, allegedly he's on the spectrum, so I do feel bad for him. If he's on the spectrum, like, dude, you are you are the mo- you are the worst shittiest person in this world, and I don't know what to say to you. But if you are on the spectrum, I feel so bad for you. I really do. Cause like, however you do need to shut the shut your door. So, ugh, what else? And then motherfuckers, I'm thinking, you know, at least people in the dorms, like when you living in a whole dorm, like mind you, you are outside of your home, and like when you're at home, you gotta make sure your shit is clean because who the fuck wants to hear their mom or their dad or whatever guardian that they or whatever person you live with? Who the hell wants to hear your folks say, "Yo, clean up this dirty ass place"? Da da I'm thinking when you at, when you're here in the whole dormitory, you will change your ways. No, these motherfuckers is dirty as shit. Like, mind you, I'm on the I'm on the girls' hall. Do you not know how many times I walk into this bathroom and there's period blood all over the fucking place? Some of these bitches don't flush to save their fucking life. I just be sitting back here, I'm like, bro, would you be doing this shit if you was at home? What is wrong with y'all dirty dust buckets? What the fuck is wrong with y'all dirty cum buckets? Like... That is so nasty. Like, seeing that shit, walking into it. It was the point that I remember when I was complaining about it. When I was complaining about it, I actually got told that I was complaining about it. But I just ignored it. Because, I mean, how would you feel if you walk into the bathroom and you got to take out of the world's biggest shit or the world's longest piss and you see period blood? Would you, like, complain? Because it's like, look. I'm paying a shit ton of money to go to this school and I gotta deal with some dirty ass kids. Like, this is the same, this is the same dorm hall where niggas, mind you, niggas, like men, were using the fucking girls' bathroom. And I was sitting back here, I'm like, bro, 
what the hell is you doing using the girls' bathroom? I'm like, I get it. The bathrooms are gender neutral, so you can use. So like, yeah, but you have you mean to tell me that you would sit back here and travel from the first floor all the way to the second floor to use the bathroom? That speaks volumes about about the bathrooms. And plus, look, if you live with that kid that fucking screams a lot. Look, I don't blame you, but still, it's still uncomfortable because, like, mind you, some of us on that floor is women, and we be in our most vulnerable, like, get taking a shower and all that, and to see a guy walking around, and you know, you don't know how some of these men are. Like, some people are weird. Probably, like, saying, oh, like, I like, I, I probably like it into this shit. Um,. Or we'll probably, like, try to holler at you at your most vulnerable. Do you not know how uncomfortable that shit is? And we told, so we, we told, we complained about it. And, you know, I, th- I think it's been uh, dealt with. I, I think, I like, look, don't, um, uh, don't, don't quote me on this one. Uh, hold on. Don't quote me on this one, like real shit. But I I don't know if if I if if I if I made it. Oh my goodness gracious! I just got put in this Discord, and why in the living? <laughs> hey yo, this dude out of pocket. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god! I, I I can't even I can't even say what I just saw in this joint because I may get demonetized or get my video taken down. But uh, let's just say, uh, I can't. Uh, sorry about that. All I can say is like I can't really say what I just saw. Like that is how messed up it is. Like it is really that that messed up <laughs> it's the dark humor i have with this group is so fucked up it is it is beyond it is beyond me like uh uh um um but yeah it's like <sighs> like as if you're a guy, you went to the and you went to the bathrooms on the girls' hall. If you went to the bathroom because of that little, well, because of the little boy screaming a lot, like I don't blame you, but still, use your bathroom. There's like multiple bathrooms in everybody's quad on the first floor, so please use it. Our, our bathrooms ain't all that. So, it's just like, like just. Uh, but oh my god and the countless of chaos that I have encountered um during my time as a first year resident like uh the countless drunkless the drunken nights I had like I can tell you like my first week on this campus um Labor Day weekend never have I expected to help one of my friends to their dorm and it was just so funny but if i have him on this on this episode i'll let him tell you that story i'm not i'm not gonna share that part because like it's that's a him thing um or there was times where i got drunk and i had to help myself or people had to help me to their dorms like i'm still trying to remember half the shit i did when i was drunk i remember when i had got drunk off of and call me a lightweight on this i had got drunk over moonshine and two bottles of strawberry daiquiri coolers and next thing i know is i'm in somebody's dorm playing cards against humanity and i then i wake up the next morning with um with a change of shorts and a change of socks and i think i must have put them on i don't know i didn't feel like like no one didn't tell me they dressed they dressed me so that was my that was my drunken night and then like when i got when i started drinking whiskey that was a shit show like 
like literally whiskey i can handle my whiskey but at times it's like uh couldn't like whiskey can't handle me because i'll be drawing at at times like the last time i drank whiskey was like at the, was at, at this after party um and according to my friend i passed out a lot I just say I cannot be around alcohol for a while. Uh, and then, oh my God, uh, the freaking is, yo! I have never expected so many kids on this campus to be so horny. Like, as I mentioned earlier. There was times I was horny. I I did my I did my thing, but I had music playing. But yo, these people would be so loud. It's like you. It's like they want you to hear them. And and here's the thing. Bless y'all for letting me hear y'all. Because hey, y'all saving me time from looking up um looking up a, a, that specific a specific video on Cornhub. <laughs> Because look, I'm like, you know what? I got Cornhub right in front of me. Like I got Cornhub right in front of me. Like let me just let me just listen in and and don't get me wrong, it was it was satisfying. So thank you for giving me the free content. Like you have me saving five dollars on OnlyFans or twenty seven dollars or whatever the, whatever these fucking content creators are charging the amount for OnlyFans, like Y'all really out here charging a charging a bean for OnlyFans. Like, if I want to see some see some naked bodies, I literally could just go on Google and, and watch it for free ninety nine, or go on Twitter. And everybody who know who watches Twitter knows that side of Twitter. So <laughs> I can't even open my Twitter in public because all I see is booty and Richards. So. But don't follow my Twitter. If you find it, you ain't see shit. <laughs> and oh man, like I have stories about my freaking encounters, but that's a story for a whole ass time. So, but yeah, um, other than that, like the chaos, like I. I it was one time I was at this dorm party and <laughs> I was at this dorm party one time and it was like a Playboy Mansion theme and I'm not really going to get into the thick of it because like I don't want this person to get in trouble but let's just say like we was partying so good the RA had busted in and we almost got in trouble that's what I can say but we didn't so that was good, but that was scary because I'm like, holy shit. Like, I'm over here hiding. I'm thinking, oh, no, I don't want to get in trouble because, like, there's, like, a certain amount of people that's allowed in your room. And I'm thinking, oh, shit. But, no. And then I was reminded, bro, I'm reminded you're 21. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> so, my drunk ass calmed down and was just, like, acting normally. And they took my ID along with some other people. And I'm just like, you know, to this day, I'm still here. I'm still a student here. So, yeah, and this, mind you, this very catholic at school, like, first of all, I'm bisexual, and, uh, mind you, this school is Catholic, and they support us, don't get me wrong, they support us, and it's like, here and there, you got some conservative white people up there that was, that'd be saying otherwise, but it's like, hey, you, the majority of your students that go here is black, BIPOC, hella gay, so, uh, is this really a Catholic school, or is it just a front, just so they can get more money, and, is it a point that this school has a fucking meme page, and I'm thinking, damn, I'm in Upper Derby all over again, but in reality, this is a college version of UDH, Upper Derby. So, and oh my god, like, I'm, 
I, I would go more about about my school, but that's a that's a podcast episode for another time. But the dormitory, like my dorm, was just very chaotic. It was hot all the fucking time. But let's just say I survive that dorm. I survive house two, and I can't wait to see what my final year as a senior is in store when i get placed in the dormitory that i want right now i'm like placing with a dorm in a dorm that i do not want because i don't want to deal with fresh out of high school as kids that will be so immature so i'm like oh fucking hell so i'm praying that i get placed in the room where i'm with my years and that I can tolerate, or hell, I'd rather get placed in the dorm hall where I'm with my major friends, like my major group, because hey, we can stress about graphic design together, you know. But alrighty, guys, that is um, that is the episode of the midnight hour. My name is Monty Two Times, and I will see you the next episode. The next episode, I will talk about my next episode. I'm gonna talk about. Uh, Actually, I'm not going to let y'all know about my next move. <laughs> but other than that, squad, it was nice podcasting with you all. To us, gain it to us, God. It's your girl, Money Two Times, signing off. And have a good night.